Hey there, good evening. Uh, Sarah Abhishakra here, and I am joining this evening for Beer and Hymns, and we have a little shine theme this evening, a little uh, light theme. Thanks for joining, and um, we're going to sing a few songs that are centered around Christ's light and the light of the world, Christ being the light of the world. I've, got a little, I've asked for if uh, people have requests for hymns or and any ideas for themes, and tonight's theme comes to you from Terry Baker. So uh, you'll see why uh, we have our light theme this evening in just a bit. But as we, everybody's gathering in, we'll start with a um, opening song, which is number 192 in our hymnal. It's Lord, the love of your light is shining, also known as Shine, Jesus, Shine. So cheers, come on in.
scrolling along and I uh, was trying to read it and play piano at the same time, which wasn't working out that well. Um, but um, hey, Kathy and Trish and Melissa um, and Tom, Pastor Tom and Claire and Pam, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I'm not in my regular venue tonight. I'm here at, uh, at my partner's home, Andy, I'm at his house. So I'm not on my Steinway tonight, and that's all right. I'm on pretty good little substitute here, my uh, Yamaha uh, keyboard over here at Andy's house. So, so Terry Baker um, called me, and he had this idea about kind of like a light theme and uh, a shine theme because if any of you know Terry Baker, uh, Terry makes moonshine and he said, yeah, instead of beer, you could use moonshine. And uh, I was like, well, I'm not sure how much moonshine I can actually drink <laughs> and still function and play the piano. So this is from Terry Baker. It is a peach moonshine got real peaches down there at the bottom and I'm gonna take one tiny sip of it and say cheers and welcome to Beer and Hymns which tonight has a little shine and so here we go I haven't had this yet so I'm a little nervous Whew. okay here we go it's great oh it's delicious <laughs> No, it's very good. It's kind of like that I Love Lucy episode where vitamin and regimen. It's delicious. <laughs> it tastes good too. Uh, no, thank you, Terry. Thank you for uh, making that for me and, uh, and, and for your submission for a theme for tonight. All right. Woof. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so we're going to have all songs about... Uh, about Christ's light tonight on a serious note. That's just kind of a goofy note. But on a serious note, all of our songs tonight are about the light of Christ, Jesus Christ, who came into the world and brought this light of, of heaven into our realm here on earth. And um, so the next hymn we have is number 811. This is um, uh, these selected verses of Psalm 31 are slightly reordered here to give initial emphasis to the petition for God's favor, expressed in the typical Hebraic image of a radiant face. That plea is then reinforced by affirmations of the psalmist, unwavering trust in God. So this is one, uh, it's short and sweet, make your face to shine. And I'm just going to follow it right after, uh, pretty immediately after that with O Radiant Light, which is number 671. So I'll go ahead and have that ready. O Radiant Light is a 20th century uh, spin of, a, of a, an old, one of our oldest Christian hymns, um, which means gladdening light, fos hilaron gladdening light. Dating back from at least the third century, it is associated with an evening service. Here we are in our evening service, held both in churches and in homes. Here we are in a home, and maybe you're in your home, so it's appropriate when the lamps or candles are lighted. So um, it's a song to be sung uh, with with maybe lights shining. I have um, candles shining. I have this gorgeous lamp. This was a gift to me from the beautiful Bernadine Lamar. Many of you will know Bernadine. So I've got my lamp here shining and thinking about that light of Christ that's shining. So first we have uh, number 811, Make Your Face to Shine, followed by 671, O Radiant Light, O Sun Divine.
in your home, I invite you to light a candle. Um, I just happen to have a candle here. I'm going to grab and light as we think of light, Christ's light in our world. happens to be a three wick candle representative of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and that light that is in our world. I'm going to move this camera a little bit so you can see my light. I invite you to light a candle if you have one there in your home. And as we sing these songs about Christ's light that this is representative of that light in the world. Number 673 is next, close by, just the very next one in the hymnal. Jesus, light of joy, 673. The images of light in this text are drawn from the ancient Christian Vesper hymn, the same hymn that we just sang, Phos Hilaron, which dates from at least the third century. The rather brief original hymn is augmented here in the third stanza by language based on the Sanctus. So here is number 673, Jesus, Light of Joy. This text was, um, was is an ancient text, but David Gambrel is the one who um, sort of put it together and paraphrased it in this way. David Gambrel is on the faculty at Columbia Theological Seminary in Atlanta and, um, and is a brilliant mind. And the music is by John Goss from 1869. So a little bit of modern and a little bit of ancient in Jesus' light of joy. I wonder what the organ would sound like here. This is 
is the maybe the perk of not being on my Steinway. I get to have some organ sounds. <laughs> Sometimes we, uh, we sing this in place of the doxology. This has uh, got a gospel feel to it. Oh, I forgot I'm just using the regular hymnal and not my actual, uh, my accompaniment version. So it might be a little bit of a different accompaniment than you're used to hearing.
some light on this keyboard. Thank you for that. Uh, so we're uh, rolling through all of the, uh, not all of, but a lot of the light hymns that are in our hymnal. There's actually quite a wealth to choose from. And cheers, welcome to Beer and Hymns. Tonight, Shine and Hymns. I took my one and only sip of moonshine earlier, so if you missed it, sorry. <laughs> this is a gift from Terry Baker. And uh, Terry hooked me up with his homemade shine. Um, last but not least, uh, picked more songs than usual today because they're all so short. And last but not least is number 127 in our hymnal. It's Jesus, the light of the world. 127. And this is a song that can be sung at Christmas time. When you first look at uh, the, the first words in the hymn, most of the time people will think, Oh, I know this is hard. The herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. But no, this is a, a different one. Hark the herald angels sing. And uh, it's a different tune, and I thought tonight we could just do the uh, refrain part of it. We'll walk in the light. But since we're doing so great on time, maybe we will just do the whole thing. It's not Christmas in July anymore. Ha, <laughs> Bernadine says, watch out, Terry Baker's recipe is something else. Yeah, I had one sip, and that's... Uh, that's all I'm going to have on camera. <laughs> um, Kathy, oh, I made Jeffrey's day. Oh, that makes me happy. He makes my day. So I think we will sing the whole thing. Heart the Herald, angels sing. Jesus, the light of the world. It's not Christmas time. Although if you go to Walmart or Lowe's, you're going to see all the Christmas stuff already out. And uh, I'm going to move this candle because it's making me a little nervous. Sitting there. I don't want to knock it off and break it. And uh, it's not Christmas time, but you know what? I think all year long is a good time to sing about Jesus, the light of the world. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, thank you, Melissa. Thanks. I, I like that one too. It's a fun one and it's um, a Christmas song, so I feel like we are really limited to when we sing it in worship. So um, it's hard to get in those non traditional Christmas songs, even though they're really fun. Um, people will, will get upset with me if we don't sing all the Christmas songs that they know. So we only have such a short period of time, so it's fun to, to get to sing this. But I feel like we could do that refrain all year long. Um, thank you so much for joining for Beer and Hymns, Shine and Hymns tonight. And I thought that was the perfect one to end on. Um, feel free to um, let me know if you have a request or if you have uh, maybe a theme idea for me. Um, and I will be happy to accommodate that. I'm best reached by email, as Terry will tell you. I'm best reached by email um, or uh, text or Facebook message. Any of those are fine. Um, working a lot at Coastal, so sometimes I'm not always available by phone. So uh, have a great week. God be with you, and I will see you next time.